Our next award recipient is uh, for the Distinguished Young Alumni Award. Established in 1987, this award is presented to a graduate of not more than 15 years for exceptional volunteer service debates and distinction in his or her career. I am very pleased to present this year's recipient, Tanya M. L. Schwartz, class of 2004. Thank you. Thank you. Tanya graduated cum laude from Bates with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Sociology. At Bates, she was an active, active understatement, an active, energetic, and involved student who served on the Representative Assembly, on the Committee on Committees, the Educational Policy Committee, the Sociology Department's Advisory Committee, and was president of her dorm for all four years. A Dean's List student, no less, she was elected to the College Key on the basis of her academic standing, character, service, leadership, and future promise. In her senior year, Tanya was elected co-president of her class and co-chair of the Senior Gift Committee, and she helped lead the successful effort to rally her classmates to raise the funds necessary to bring our beloved Bobcat statue to campus. <laughs> After, yes, that's actually worthy of a round of applause. <laughs> After graduating from Bates, Tanya went on to receive two master's degrees one in public policy and another one in social work from the University of Michigan. She worked as a policy analyst for the Henry J. Kaiser Family Foundation and is now a health insurance specialist developing, interpreting, and implementing health care law for the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. And you probably don't know that I'm going to say this, but within two months of her employment at the Department of Health and Human Services, she was poached by her boss's boss's boss to uh, serve in a different area and to do more work at a higher level, so effectively given a promotion after a two-month period of time. So that gives you some indication of the skill level that Tanya brings with her. In her post-Bates years, Tanya has remained just as active, energetic, and involved with the college as she was as a student, and has earned praise from her peers and classmates for her remarkable spirit, energy, and service to Bates College. As a reunion committee chair for her class, she inspired her committee to organize, plan, and facilitate events and logistics for a record-breaking fifth reunion year, and represented the class of 2004 at the Bobcat statue dedication that same weekend. Tanya is a tireless advocate and ambassador for Bates. She was recently appointed to the Alumni Council, and she is also the co-president of her class, a class agent, a member of the College Key, an alumni and admissions volunteer, a career advisor for the Bates Career Development Center, a member of the steering committee for the Washington, D.C. Bates Professional Network, and mentors currently enrolled students frequently. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> wow, impressive to say the least. Tanya, you are a true champion of Bates and an enthusiastic, responsive, communicative leader who has done so much to help increase and encourage your classmates' continued participation and engagement with the college. We are so grateful for your very generous gifts of your time, talent, and energy, and very pleased to present you with the Alumni Council's 2010 Distinguished Young Alumni Award. Congratulations. Tanya would now like to say a few words. I figure I should take advantage of this opportunity. I don't know who you're talking about because that list was so long. I don't think I've done half of those things, but if you say I have, I'll take it. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Roland and Bill and the Alumni Council, and thank you all for, for being here today. I'm really shocked and humbled to be, to be receiving this honor today. Um, I think it's so great to be here this evening surrounded by so many people who really care about the Bates community and we all give back to Bates in different ways um, and we're, we all do it for different reasons but our connection to Bates and this community no matter how old we are six years out 50 years out um, this community really really binds us for me uh, giving back to Bates has kind of come very automatically and very easily because I really just try to give 
back to Bates a fraction of what it gave to me, both personally and professionally, and it, it really gave me so much. I came to Bates as a very shy, introverted person, which most people who know me now would never believe, but ask my parents, it's true. Um, and I left Bates as co-president and with the skills and confidence to really be a leader in other parts of my life, and for that I'm just really grateful that Bates really helped me come into my own. And of course, above all, um, I've made great friends here, both students and faculty and staff, and that keeps me wanting to come back for more. Um, and when I was thinking about what to say tonight, I was just reminded of the feelings I had about Bates when I was preparing for my baccalaureate speech back in 2004. And so I just want to read a quick thing um, um, that I think embodies, again, how I feel today. Uh, when I visited Bates as a senior in high school, my host student told me I was definitely a Batesy. I was not sure what that meant, but I liked the idea nonetheless, and in the end, I chose Bates. Perhaps it was just the feeling I had when I visited campus, or an educated guess, uh, but now I know the answer to the question, why Bates? It is incontrovertible. It is the people. It's so clearly the people. You are smart, multi-talented, interesting, passionate, well-rounded, and good-hearted people. You really are the essence of Bates. You are Batesies. So six and a half years later, I still feel the same way about my class, but about all the other people that I've met, even this weekend with the Alumni Council. It's just, I think this spans across all of our generations and decades. And so I, I really just want to thank the Batesies um, who are here tonight, who have really been mentors to me um, over the, you know, through college and then over the past six and a half years. When I get a new job, I call them. When something good happens, I call them. They're definitely on my short list of people. And then in turn, when they get big awards here at Bates, because they're all phenomenal people, I come back and support them. And so that's been really great. So I'm so glad that Emily Kane and Jill Reich and Michael Murray um, and Larry Handerhan are all here tonight to be, to be with us. Um, unfortunately, my friend Alyssa, who it turns out nominated me for this, couldn't be here, but she shares my passion for, for Bates. And then, of course, the alumni office. Um, you really make it easy to want to volunteer and to want to come back. And I know your staff, but you really feel like friends at this point. Um, so Leah Gailey, Ali Lambert, who's not here, Amy Arsenault, I mean, and the rest of the staff has, have really been wonderful. And one quick thing, I know I'm taking my time, but that's okay. Um, so I just want to share one quick story that I think really exemplifies uh, my enjoyment of why I give back to Bates. Uh, in the spring of 2007, I came up to choose the artist for the Bobcat statue, which was really exciting. And so on top of that, I did a presentation on healthcare for students and faculty, and I met with a bunch of sociology students. And uh, one woman I met, again, this is spring of 2007, uh, followed up with me about six months after the fact and said that she wanted to talk about you know, where she should go for graduate school, what she should study. So we had, we had a great conversation. And about two and a half years later, hadn't heard from her in that long, it was about two weeks ago, I got an email from her. And in it she said, well, I have definitely followed in your footsteps. I'm at your grad school now. And I thought, what could be better than knowing that advice you gave to a student two and a half years ago really helped her make a defining decision in her life. And I'm confident that she will take the advice I gave her, combine it with her own, and use that to help future generations of Bates alums. And so I think this really just embodies the support and the reciprocity that exists in this community. And I'm just so proud to be a Batesy, and thank you all so much. <laughs>